this is awkward i don't know what to do it's been so long well hello everyone welcome back to my channel it has been a couple months since i've uploaded i think we've all needed a bit of a break since eurovision finished it was a crazy six months before the contest and then the contest happened and i've had a lot of other work go on behind closed doors which has kept me very preoccupied but i am now back in america as you can see i will be starting to make a lot more content from now on junior eurovision is going to be coming up and i will be doing some more stuff with eurovision tea again which is bringing me on to this video today if you have not checked out our latest eurovision tea we have just uploaded a two months kind of reunion update slash talk about our thoughts of 2023 but also about 2024 of course we have just found out that mama am i saying that right mama is going to be the city that sweden is going to be hosting eurovision 2024 it's pretty early but it's sweden they're always on it with this kind of stuff if you haven't checked out that video please go do that because that will be the full version of what i'm about to show you now we were just talking about some of the artists that we would like to see in the future of eurovision and i would absolutely love to see kazakhstan return to the contest they have withdrawn from junior eurovision it would be so good to have them back and speaking of kazakhstan we reacted to supposedly one of the best singers in the world which is aka Dimash and I haven't actually reacted to any of his stuff before. Without further ado, why don't we get into the reaction because I definitely think it's worth checking out. If you have not checked out any of my fellow Eurovision T compadres, please go give them some love. Over the last year, we've become very, very close and I consider them my good friends now. So yeah, please go do that and enjoy. I don't think we also have Kazakhstan soon. I'll say drop out of your Eurovision oh, no. now. Why did they do that? I Listen, if we have Kazakhstan and they have Dimash, if you see a singer called Dimash, we're fucked. It's game over. Mash up. Automatic win. No one will stand a chance. No, yeah. we'd be yeah. fucked. Completely. A lot of people consider him the best singer in the world. I feel like we need to do a group reaction to that just to watch okay. everyone's reaction. Because... You do it now? But yes, do it. The SOS. Yeah, <laughs> do, do SOS. To give you a background, this performance is from a competition called The Singer. It's hosted in China, but they have a lot of people from different countries participate. For example, Jesse J won that contest. Hmm. She might be that. that and uh, who else and was the, in it? The Bulgarian What's... guy. Um... Bulgaria, yes. Mm. Uh, 2017, Bul Bulgaria. Christian Kostov. Christian Kostov. Hmm. These are born mutations from a test tube sort of singers. They're that good. <laughs> <laughs> they are just phenomenal. Is this like the boys? Or what? Kind of, yeah. He looks like a K pop star or something. Yeah. He? he could easily be. Great voice. <laughs> the change of the key. How is he doing that? No shit gets bigger than that. Like whistle. This is just the beginning. <laughs> Jurors will like this. It's like lyrical style. Dorothy, he's from Kazakhstan. <laughs> Excuse me. This guy is not human. <laughs> It's amazing how he sings, but the song is so boring. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not focusing on the song at all because his voice is so good. That's yeah. all I can hear. Nah, nah, nah. nah fuck off. Oh. 
Okay, if Kazakhstan has talent like that, why the hell are they not competing? In this Europe? is what I was thinking. It makes zero sense to me. I, I don't understand. A serious I don't think he would actually do Eurovision, though. Maybe he's still, he's probably too big now to even he's, care. About he's Europe. very I big. And he's that. Uh, he... Yeah, but they must have other singers. I mean, they, they they're so good in junior Eurovision. So why? Wouldn't they? That country is literally just full of singers. I don't think I've ever seen a Kazakh with a different job. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's singer there. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Wow. You're right, though, Vince. Like, uh, the, so the song is quite boring, but like, I didn't even think about it until. Yeah. Like, oh, are... Fucking ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh! No, okay, I could see why you said like he's potentially the best singers in the world because there was one, not one pitch out of tune. Mm -hmm. I mean, the switchers and rangers. The range, that range, that. It's about six octaves, I believe. Maybe more. Oh, I have even seven for him. He's, he's just ridiculous. He was born with no bollocks. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> <Just in that. laughs> he was. He went down low as well. So I'm just like. How low did it go? That's the question. <laughs> yeah. That low in this song, but there is one song where he goes like super low. And I'm like, how can you like swing all the way from down low up to the like. Mm -hmm. no. I think he started singing at the age of four, three. His parents were really strict. But anyway, Kazakhstan come back. We, we Amazing played. voice, but I still wouldn't listen. <laughs> Yeah. You're dumb. Yeah. <laughs> the performance is amazing. Yeah. And First of all, that wasn't his song. Yeah, it's, no, that it's... was Vitas. Is it Vitas? No, it's not. I am intrigued to see his other stuff now. He does have, have his own stuff, so you can check it out. He does, but his covers are probably the best ones. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna have a look. He loves competitions, so I think if Kazakhstan does come to Eurovision, he would say yes because he's participated in many competitions. Yeah. Well. Let's see. We'll see. We will see.